We're living in an increasingly networked society, a time when connectivity is pervasive. It's, it's all around us. And in this network society, we have an obligation as, as companies, as global citizens of the world, to make sure that the technology that we're bringing out to society is actually a force for good in the world. That's what we mean by technology for good. Ericsson Research, that's an organization consisting of 600 researchers all over the world. We are part of a 20,000 people uh, community within Ericsson, but even so, we are here for open innovation and driving open innovation, and we need your ideas. As part of Ericsson's commitment to technology for good, we're launching an app competition, and we're calling on you as developers to join with us and be a force for good in the network society. We're looking at two key areas that we want to have your ideas and your application uh, development proposals. One is how we can use technology for improving social and economic development and the other key area is around a broader goal in energy and climate change. The prizes in these competitions are Sony Ericsson smartphones and you have the opportunity to put a girl through secondary school in sub-Saharan Africa. We will give out the scholarship in the name of the winning team. This scholarship is part of Ericsson's Connect to Learn initiative. As an addition to this, you have an opportunity to win 15,000 euro, which will be handed out to the winning team in May 2012. There are more than 5 billion mobile users on the planet today. This is the largest social network ever in the history of mankind, and you are part of that. As developers and as people that have inspirational ideas, we want you to join us in helping to make sure that the network society truly is a force for good in the world. Please join us on the Technology for Good app competition. So, go and register and help us make the world a better place to live in.